So this is uh, section uh, 8.2. There's not really much to add in uh, 8.2, partly because of 8.1 and, and partly because we did this with two uh, dimensions or R2. Uh, we did these kinds of things. Uh, but I think um, we should mention uh, definition or call attention to definition uh, 8.2.3 um, and so we have a couple of points so we have a is a point uh, x1 y1 z1 and b is a point uh, x2 y2 z2 and uh, and this is just kind of trying to look at the the difference between um, uh, a point and a vector just in terms of definition. And, and so they say um, they're going to define this uh, directed line segment AB as um, a column vector. And the way we'll get that is if we think of A to B, so that would be X2 minus X1. Uh, y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1. So um, that is a, our column vector and so then uh, they say uh, if if um, P now let's see how am I going to do this um, well, yeah, I guess I can just use P. Yeah, okay, so P uh, is a point. Then 0P, okay, or OP, this is the origin. Uh, so that directed line segment out to P uh, called P with the line, you know, now notice I'll use our vector notation of just a single line over P. Uh, no, 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 I won't put the origin in there. Um, is the position vector of the point P. Okay, so they call it the if I if I want to distinguish between a point or or the vector uh, one, I'll use different symbology here, uh, and then the other is that um, you know I'll talk about the point p or the position vector p, uh, depending on which one I I want to do that with, and. Um, that's about it, uh, I think, that we need to really call attention to from uh, 8.2. Isn't that nice? It all fit on one little page here.